Before memory, there was a dream of a world. A world etched in fractures, where life was a whisper against the silence. Strange shapes haunted this dream, life clinging to the edge of possibility. Here, monsters were real, not dinosaurs, but their masters. And the first of their kind were merely shadows, learning to survive. Before their age, they were just shadows in a world of monsters. But the planet itself was stirring, a slow tectonic breath that would change everything. From fire came water, from barrens, a world of impossible green. The world cracked open and life flooded in. And with this new world came a new scale of life. Giants born of fern and fog, their very existence reshaping the landscape. New giants brought new hunters, the true dawn of the dinosaur age. Life specialized, finding its form in a world of plenty. And in the air, a revolution. Then, a new magic appeared, a whisper of color and scent. The world learned a new language, the language of flowers. And with new food came new fortresses. Life armored itself against the coming storm. Great dynasties of horn and shield paraded across the vibrant plains. And evolution dreamed in stranger forms than ever before. But every dream has its apex a single focal point of terrible perfection. And at the pinnacle of this world stood a king, a voice that was not a sound, but a force of nature, a tyrant king of a perfect, fleeting kingdom. But even the greatest kingdoms are built beneath indifferent stars. And in a single, silent moment, the 66 million year dream was broken. Then came the long twilight. The tyrant, now a ghost in a world of ash. The great voices fell silent. An entire world turned to a ghost. A line in the stone.